Augsburg House, built in 1940, was purchased by the college in July of 1998. This is the first time since the 1960s that the college has owned a home for its president and an official residence for entertaining. Augsburg House is located on West River Parkway in Minneapolis, less than two miles from the Augsburg campus. The house faces the Mississippi River and the parkland that stretches along the river for many miles. An extensive renovation began shortly after Augsburg purchased the house. The work was concentrated in three areas. The family room, which was once a garage, the kitchen, which was completely remodeled, and the downstairs bathroom, which was made accessible for wheelchairs. As Anne Frame explains, it was a lengthy project, and the workers were going out the door as the first guests were arriving. The first event we had was on December 1st last year, and uh, they laid the carpet on the stairs on the that afternoon and people were coming about four so we were working right down to the wire. In its first year Augsburg House has welcomed more than 1700 people at more than 80 events. Bill and Ann Frame say the house is serving its purpose well. The house has worked really wonderfully well for allowing us to be in touch with the, all the people that might be here even in a big crowd and, and maybe even more importantly than that when the crowd is of modest size it, can, it facilitates people who are guests being in touch with each other. I think the thing that probably pleases us as much as anything is that when people are excited about having this mm -hmm. place and they feel a sense of belonging here and they want it to be nice and they want it to, to show the, the college well. Guests at Augsburg House are welcomed into the front hall and if part of a large group often stop here to be given a name tag. The anteroom is next on the tour. This was once a bedroom. As is the case in most of the rooms, furniture purchased by the college is mixed in with treasures that belong to the frames. Art from the Augsburg collection is also featured. This room is where probably the most dramatic renovation was done. When we first saw it, it was a storage room. And the old garage doors were still on where the, where the French windows are now. It had been the original garage of the house, and when they sold off the back of the lot, it was no longer accessible. So they built a new garage and just left this as a storage room. And we knew when we saw it that that was what would enable the house to work for the college because it gives us a rather large additional entertainment area. For large group entertaining, the family room may be converted to dining space or set up with rows of chairs, theater style. The kitchen remodeling maximizes the small space. President Frame has been known to organize 10 or more guests at once in vegetable chopping duties when he's cooking Chinese food. The new hardwood floors in the kitchen and family room were donated and installed by Augsburg alum Milt Claven, who also refinished the existing wood floors in the house. The dining table is expandable, and when tables are set up in other available spaces in the house, the frames can entertain up to 42 people for a sit-down dinner. The Frames have also hosted many large outdoor events, including a tent party for nearly 200 of the college's major donors. Thanks to kind alumni who threw a shower for Augsburg House, future guests will have the pleasure of dining on special Augsburg China and will use new crystal and flatware. So we pulled together a committee of a number of the volunteer groups, some people from the associates, some from the alumni board, and uh, selected a pattern and uh, for some china that will have the Augsburg A on it mm -hmm. and uh, the silver and some glassware that will then stay at the house and will be the, the house's special stuff. It won't have to go back and forth to the college and it will be a very, very nice special thing to have here. The large living room has been the scene of some lively conversation. Many faculty have gathered here for what have been dubbed the frame of mind discussions. The idea was um, that we would gather members of the faculty here um, and use the house as a, a domestic setting in which we could converse seriously, after which we could, uh, uh, you know, relax a bit, have dinner together. Finally, the main floor of the house also features a lovely sunroom where the frames are found reading the newspapers on many Sunday mornings. The master bedroom and bath and a guest room and bath are all located on the second floor of Augsburg House, as is what is perhaps Bill's favorite spot, the Frames Study. I can write or read here in ways that I can't at the office, um, and, and therefore this is a godsend. If I didn't have this place, I'd have to find a place 
literally off campus where, where I could do that. <clears throat> um, the second thing I, I do here is, um, is uh, kind of play, play the guitar. I can get away from even the work I do here by simply picking up the guitar and for a half hour or 45 minutes try out some new tune or get ready for some, you know, now I'm playing a little bit every once in a while in public so I can practice uh, for those purposes. Another improvement project began in November of 1999. In order to make the front entry accessible for those with physical disabilities, the old walkway was being replaced with a ramp leading from the semicircular driveway in front of the house. Also, new lighting was installed to improve safety and visibility. The entire Augsburg community, students, staff, faculty, alumni, regents, and other special guests, have all felt welcome in the gracious environment of Augsburg House and truly appreciate this addition to the college. I want to say thank you, uh, I think, from the bottom of both Anne's heart and mine and also from the bottom of the institution's heart. I mean, this has been a major addition, I think, uh, to the... Um, I, I think both the outreach and the inreach uh, of the college, this place. And uh, it wouldn't have been able to do its work without that uh, rehabilitation. We have a plaque that hangs in the entry that basically just indicates when we purchased the house in 1998 and uh, that it is dedicated really for the purpose of extending friendship and hospitality of, our, of the Augsburg community to the wider community and in memory of Alan Johnson and through the generosity of the Haglands and the Claymans. So we are great, very grateful for these good friends of the college.